Now to that breaking new report about a whistleblower who reported a troubling promise President Trump may have made to a foreign leader. The Washington Post broke the story about the complaint, which is being blocked from Congress. Our chief justice correspondent, Pierre Thomas, here with what we know right now. Good morning, Pierre. George, good morning. A potential constitutional showdown is escalating with the chairman of the House Intelligence Committee demanding to know more about a Trump administration whistleblower and reporting from The Washington Post that the paper claims points to the president. This morning, The Washington Post reporting that the genesis of a whistleblower's complaint allegedly involves the president promising something to a foreign leader that left the Trump administration official unnerved and deeply concerned. The Post citing two unnamed former administration officials claims that the whistleblower was so alarmed that he took his concerns to the inspector general of the Office of Director of National Intelligence. All of this stems from a complaint that a member of the U.S. intelligence community filed with the inspector general on August 12th. If you look at the weeks leading up to that complaint, President Trump had spoken to or had conversations with about five foreign leaders. Most notably among them was Vladimir Putin. ABC News has not confirmed the Post reporting, but we have obtained a series of letters between the Office of National Intelligence and Congress, which confirms the Inspector General deemed the whistleblower's complaint, quote, of urgent concern, one that might require notification of Congress. But those letters show that the Director of National Intelligence, after consulting with the Justice Department, disagreed that the matter was urgent and concluded his agency was under no obligation to forward the matter to Congress. This has left House Intelligence Chairman Adam Schiff outraged, demanding answers and suggesting a cover-up. It is the President of the United States who is at the center of this uh, significant showdown between Congress and the U.S. intelligence community. In a letter obtained by ABC News, Schiff tells Joseph McGuire, the acting director of national intelligence, that he can only conclude, quote, that the serious misconduct at issue involves the president of the United States or senior White House or administration officials. Schiff goes on to say he has grave concerns that the administration is engaged in, quote, an unlawful effort to protect the president, George. And, and Pierre, the Washington Post is also reporting that the director, this acting director of national intelligence is uncomfortable to be caught in the middle uh, between the Intelligence Committee and the, and the Justice Department, who is blocking, who is blocking this uh, right now. Meantime, this is moving very quickly. The inspector general is actually going to appear before the Intelligence Committee this morning. Uh, he will. Uh, we don't know what he will be allowed to say or what he will say, but I can tell you this, it's escalating George with Schiff, also promising a subpoena if he can't get answers. Pierre Thomas, thanks very much. Mike. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.